Before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for my latest videos. Sub 1 on Flower Time is pretty hard. It takes lots of hard work, lots of time, lots of look ahead, lots of efficiency, and most importantly, lots of practice. I've done Flower Five for over two years now, and I've finally got my first Sub 1 single on the Flower 5 Rubik's Cube. So, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be breaking down my 59.30 Flower 5 single. This is my first ever sub 1 and my current PB. Let's go. So here's the scramble. So why it looks very easy, since we got this, this, and this. And whenever the white or yellow center is easy, I use Yao. So to go the white center, I see this bar, this bar, and this bar. I can move this out of the way by doing an F prime. Then attach this one and this one. Then attach this one with this. And to build the final bar, I see these two and this one. And I can just attach it to these two bars. For the yellow center, I attach this one to these two. And then I attach these two to this one. And this one to this one. And this one between these two. And then I brought up this one here. For the three cross edges, I did green first because this one, this one, and this one. So I attached this one with this one. And this one to these two. And I saw these three. So this edge. Here is solved, except this one is split. And for the final pair, this one and this one, pass it, and then put it there. For the final four centers, I did red first because of this square. So I put up these two. And then attach this one with this. And then I saw this one, this one, and this one. I attach these two first. And attach this one to these two. And then attach. Then for the green, I put this one up there. Then I put this one there. Then I attach this one with this, and it's something like this to create a big bar, and attach it there. For the final two centers, I attach these two with this one, which would also attach this one to these two. So this did three simple moves. Then I brought this one down here, and this one down here, and all the centers are solved. For the final cross end, I see this one, this one, and this one. I have this one and this one first. Then I put this one down here. Then I take this out, solve center, and then put it down. And I also solve one edge pair. To pair the final eight edges, Actually seven, because this one is solved. I saw 
this one and these two by Edgeworth. Do a YZ2. Then I put this down. And then I pair this one with these two by doing a slice. Edgeworth slice back. And I saw this one and this one. And this one is in the back. And I just put up, then slice back. And for the final four edges, I saw these two and this one. So I took this one out, slice, then take it to the top, slice back. Saw this one and these two, but edge foot. But before I finished the edge foot, I did a UR that this can be a then I slice, do a U, then do head slammer, slice back. And I didn't get a bad case, so I just did an edge foot, so this is the bad case. I have to do a long algorithm for this, so I do an F time, then do this algorithm. And all the edges are solved. And now for the battery stage. So for the first pair, I see this and this. Second pair, this and this. Zero keyhole. Third pair. Fourth pair. Hollow. Zero. So that is it for my reconstruction on my first sub 1 single on 5x5. Yeah, the 3 by 3 stage was pretty crappy, but everything else was pretty good, especially the edges and the center. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!